Welcome back there, buds. Next project we have is this big old beast. It's a big old server. It's like it's pretty much all like a quarter saw white oak. It's beautiful wood hiding underneath there. Not too much damage on it. Down here, have to repair that a little bit, glue that up. And up here, place a little bit of that veneer. But overall, it's not in bad shape. Hopefully this doesn't leave any marks when I get that off. The mirror is actually in pretty good shape. Just going to clean that up. Uh, the doors, just going to have to clean that up inside of there. The doors, they don't really shut. It's gotten pretty warped over the years. It was sitting in a vacant house that uh, it's really humid. So about the past month or so, I've had it just sitting down here trying to dry out with this uh, dehumidifier. The bottom drawer didn't open before. It does now. Can't do it one-handed though. But uh, there was no cash or gold in there, so it's always disappointing. Uh, if you look at the sides on that, so looking good. The back, you can just see all the mold mildew in there bottom just from all the humidity everything's just falling apart that's all pretty common what I'll probably do get started here just take off the top mirror piece get that going uh, just really I mean just take it all apart take the you know get the knobs off the drawers get everything all apart all the hinges off, everything labeled. Then um, probably just get some glue ups, get that little spot on the bottom and maybe get that veneer. And then uh, once I get that glued up, then I can really start to, I don't think there's a lot of finish on that. A lot of it's flat. Might be able to just to sand most of it and not have to really strip much, but know how much there is to work with that veneer uh, it's pretty thick veneer on there so we should be good so we'll get to it So I definitely need to fix this back up. It's seen some some better days, and I I want to keep want to keep this original the original piece. I hate to put anything new on an antique piece unless it absolutely needs it. And since this is the back, nobody would ever see it. And if you look from the other side. I mean, you're seeing that, that back. So what I think I'm gonna do is just flip it on its face. Just load any part of it up with glue and then just weigh it down, let it sit overnight, and it should be just glued nice and flat. And then anywhere it's, I mean, it's not supposed to be like glued on or really tight, but if there's anywhere that's really loose, maybe I'll add an extra nail in there just to get it a little bit more secure. Well, I got the back all glued up, got it flipped over, and then on the feet here, I was able to re-glue these up. 
they were all pretty loose. Now I'll just uh, fill in any little tiny spots. Uh, I don't really think it's necessary to repair, you know, to replace the entire veneer on that. Glued up pretty good. But up here, I do need some veneer for that. So I ordered some uh, some veneer replacement for that. And it's another little piece at the, at the end there. So until that comes, I could just work on stripping the rest of this, getting it all sanded. And then also have all the doors and drawers and the top mantel piece, all that good stuff. Start getting that all stripped and sanded. Well, there's one drawer all done. Uh, hopefully it goes as smoothly with all the other pieces as it did this one. I just sanded it down with uh, the disc sander with some 150 and then hit it with uh, 150 and 220 by hand and then gave it a quick wipe down with some naphtha just to make sure all the any kind of oils and grease or anything are off of there. And that one's all ready for stain. Now here's the big drawer. I got all the edges sanded on this, but then I went to sand the face of it. It just was not coming off. About the course this all goes is 150, especially when I'm doing uh, trying to sand the finish off of a veneer. If it doesn't look like it's going to come right away, then I just have to strip it. So just wanted to show you a few uh, little repairs I had to do here before I could really strip any of this. A lot of veneer just started to separate. It was almost like too short so when it went down in this curve it really popped up and even if you just glued it back down I mean it, it, it just shrunk over time somehow. So basically all I did was just I took a sharp knife and a, a ruler so I could get a nice straight edge and I just slit the veneer down the middle. So then I could just uh, glue, you know, both halves and both sides were the same way. That was pretty much about the only repair needed for that top mantle piece. So then on the edges here, I got the flaky quarter sawn oak to try to match this up best as I could. And then there's just uh, two little corners there. Got a little corner there and then down in there. And those are quite tricky trying to uh, trying to get those glued and those little curves. So I'm going to take this all apart here and start stripping it. Well, this stripped up pretty nice. That tiger oak underneath years of just that finished deteriorating. Lots of just, uh, just years of dirt, grime. Everything off of there and you see that natural wood and I hate to really even stain that. I think we're definitely going to have to go with a nice natural natural finish on that. Let that wood 
let that wood all pop yeah that top that top looks great so only had a couple surprises other than that we'll have to got a piece of veneer loose there and this edge came loose so I'll get those both glued up and then this will be ready for sanding uh, I started to I was gonna strip this door today here but I noticed something if you look there you can see this joint came a little loose over time and then this front veneer crack that entire seam there so if I were to just strip and sand this and put a finish on eventually there would be that would probably open back up and there would be a crack in the finish so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take drill four holes use the half inch oak dowel and I'm going to glue those one, two, three, four. I'll go in a little bit past, a little past where that that joint is there. So come in maybe, you know, there's the crack. Come in maybe about four inches at least. Four of those that should keep that pretty solid. And then I'll just, you know, put my two clamps across there. No, just sand them flush. If it looks terrible, I can just edge band that, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. And I'll show you what it's like when I get it all set up. There's a little tip of the day for you, buds. If you want to drill perfectly centered holes and straight, this is a pretty good little thingamajig to have it has settings for you know a quarter inch all the way up to half inch it's great for like uh, you know doing any kind of repair work for any time you would need to drill a hole for and you know for like a, on a chair rail or anything you want it centered you want it straight this thing it just screws right onto that then the hole you just drill right down into whatever size hole you have it all lines up it's pretty good. Get them at Harbor Freight for a couple bucks and it saves you a lot of headaches. All right, now I got those clamps on there. And with those cheaper clamps, they tend to bow, so I usually will put some weight on top to keep it nice and flat. Let that sit up overnight. Should be better than new. All right, so I let that door set up overnight, and then I went ahead and I got that all stripped and sanded. And then I had to sand the bottoms of the doors and those edges there and now close perfect I want to get everything in there and all set up just so I would know you know because I you don't want to finish that and then have to go and sand them down and correct everything and then with this drawer what happened that door the, the drawer here if you remember it wouldn't close or open what happened over time, if you can see inside of there, when I picked this up, there was a lot of really heavy dishes and things like that all inside of here for who knows how many years. And this kind of just was built. I mean, this is all just supported just down through here and that's it. With this big long drawer in there, usually if you had something with two drawers, you could have a support in the middle there that would prevent that sagging but this whole thing sagged down so what I had to do was uh, put some glue down in here the base of this run some long screws up through there to try to pull that up a bit 
And then I also got some screws, because even when you push down on it, you could still see it coming down up here. So I got some glue and screws in up here, and it's all pretty secure now. So, uh, yeah, I just had to sand the top of this down a little. And, uh, you know, just pretty much had to sand a lot of it, really. But then uh, just wax the wax the slides on there. Now it works good now. So now that I have all that set up, squared away, and these drawers go in just fine, I can just get started at the top here. Fingers crossed, no more veneer pops, and I don't have to re-glue any more veneer. Well, I figured we'll take one last look at the top here before I start stripping. And that I actually, I wiped off with a rag. There's no dust, there's no dirt, oh, there's bird poop. But there is no, what you see, that is the finish. There's a little part I already sanded. So just to get an idea of what this did originally look like. Figure we'll take one last look there. And it's time to get stripping. Well, buds, there it is, all stripped and sanded. 220. Picked out all the little, all the little corners and everything there. Everything's looking pretty good and clean. That top, uh, I don't even know where that ring was now. That's sanded right out. Things looking pretty good. Then I got everything else all set up, ready for stain. Got the two drawers, a couple back supports, got the knobs ready, some doors, the mantle up there, this drawer over there, the little back piece. And I did decide to stain this. I wasn't going to, it was going to be more natural, but uh, I talked to the customer again and he originally kind of wanted it to be about the same color, like a, like a more brown. I've seen these lighter, and I've seen them how this one was. And I kind of decided just to go with uh, the brown, more brown. It, it'll be about that. I think too light. I'm not a fan of the, what I call, grandma style oak furniture. I like it to be a little bit more brown myself. So, I'm gonna stain this here with a little bit of golden oak color. It brings that this little test piece I did here. It just brings that color. That's just natural. Just gives a little bit more brown. Then I can just add a little bit of toner into the finish coat it will be all good to go buds so I'm gonna get this all stained up here give it a day or two to rest then we'll spray the finish then we're still not done because I will still have to clean out all the doors or drawers and the inside of that needs a good uh, what I do, 4 out steel wool, some diluted Windex to give it a good clean, get the grime off. Then I'll either go over that, I'm not 100% sure which one I'll use. Sometimes I'll use that uh, restore finish that, uh, you know, you can pick it up at, you know, any big box hardware or whatever. That usually works pretty well just for the insides of the drawers and all that. 
Or if I don't use that, I might just, I make my own amalgamator. It's basically just thinned out shellac. I might put a little bit of dye in it to color it. But uh, either way, yeah, we'll just get that to match. Get it all looking pretty good. It's still, I don't know if you could see any of it. Some of it still, you could still see like those mold spores or whatever, mildew, whatever that was. So I just want to make sure all that's off. And this, surprisingly, I just vacuumed this, blew it out really well with the air gun, and all that felt in there cleaned out pretty nicely. So, just a couple odds and ends in there all get cleaned out and be good to go. Well, buds, today is spray day, and first of all, I got it flipped on the back, and we're just going to give the bottom all a quick shoot spray with the old uh, vinyl sealer. And then we'll flip it back up, get the rest of it. It's been drying now for about two days. The stain's all set up and good to go. It's looking pretty good already, so let's get some spraying. Okay, now this had a chance to set up overnight. Everything's all nice and dry. So to clean out the inside of this and to do all the drawers, I'll show you how I basically would clean up, touch up any piece of furniture. A uh, couple step process. Takes a lot of time, work, but looks good in the end. Start first, <clears throat> I just spray down. 4 aught steel wool with about half diluted any type of like a Windex as long as it has ammonia in so that helps break down a lot of the grease and any kind of dirt and oil that would be in that existing finish. I don't spray it directly on the finish because you can see a bunch of tiny little spots if you do and don't ever spray you know Windex or anything on any type of like finished furniture for that matter because you'll probably ruin the finish but what I like to do there with this just go along there with the green and this is just the first step to getting it clean and then we follow up with some other products I'll show you Okay, now that that inside of that is drying, I took the the air gun, sprayed it out, got any leftover dust. You can see it's still a little bit wet there from the Windex. It gets uh, it'll all get pretty hazy. That's when you know it's good and dry and ready for the next step. So the next step in my process, if you take a, you need a clean steel wool pad, then this stuff works pretty good. I put that on some uh, steel wool 
and then you just run it along the wood grain there then I like to let it sit at least a good 10 minutes kind of soak into the wood and then just wipe it off with a rag and it's really that easy then I'll just follow up with this stuff just gives it that nice sheen keeps it uh, you know since this wood's so dry especially all inside of there that'll help to you know give a little bit of moisture and make it look a lot better Well, buds, here we are with another one done. As always, if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. You can follow along with all my future projects. And if you have any questions, just drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.